Let's sew a storage basket with dividers that fits inside your semi-fabric basket. Hi! Thanks for stopping by. This is Teresa from Semidolls. This pattern and all my other patterns are available in my online shop. The link is down below in the video description. And now, let's get started! The materials are listed here, but you can find them in more detail in the PDF file. Iron the interfacing to the outer basket pieces and the basket dividers, unless you want to iron them to all the inner basket pieces as well. That's what I did, because I didn't have um, sturdy enough interfacing, so I just ironed the interfacing to all the different pieces. You could also use um, stronger material like canvas or jeans to make everything a little bit more sturdy. Paste the polyester batting to the outer basket pieces along the outer edges. I only had this funny brown coloured polyester batting. It's not very pretty, but it does the trick. <laughs> Put two of the divider pieces right sides together each and sew along the top edge. And the next one as well. Turn over the fabric of the dividers, press and top stitch along the top edge. So I could, uh, ha if I had a tiny iron, I would use it now. I think I should go and get one as soon as I can, because this would come in really, really handy. So now I'm just pressing everything with my fingers first and then with the iron. And then I'm just top stitching along the edge here. The stitch length is at three. For that. And I forgot to film this. <laughs> Take one inner bottom A and B panels each and pin one of the dividers in between them like a sandwich. So like this. This is what it's going to look later. So we have the two bottom pieces of the in inner basket and we just sewed one of the dividers in between them. And it's important to leave a 1 cm or 0 0.4 inch um, gap at the beginning and the end of this seam here, but I forgot to do that and had to use my seam ripper later on. So you are not going to do that, you're going to leave here, there's the little gap at the beginning and the end of the seam, because that's what we're going to need later on to assemble the inner basket. We're going to need that <laughs> little gap there. Next we place the other divider on the inner bottom panel B and the other inner bottom panel A on top and sew it in the same way. The whole panel A and B thing is a bit confusing right now. But if you download the PDF file that goes with this tutorial here, it'll become all a bit clearer. It's all on the pattern pieces. And that should make it a bit clearer. And I'm really liking my little sewing clips here. They're so much fun to use. And again, I'm starting at the beginning and the end here. And I shouldn't do that, I should leave a one centimeter 
gap at the beginning and the end of the seam. And this is what it looks like now with the two dividers sewn in between all the bottom pieces. Now we take two of the inner side panels, panel A for the rounded edge and panel B for the center in between the two dividers, put one of the dividers in between them and pin them in place. I hope it makes a little bit of sense here from what you are seeing on the screen. I know it sounds a bit complicated. Make sure to overlap all the side panels one centimeter or 0.4 inches at the bottom. Like this. I'm trying to show this here. So it needs to overlap a little bit because later on when we're assembling the whole basket we need that extra seam allowance. I hope you can see it well here. And sew the three pieces together. We start at the top this time and don't leave a seam allowance there. No gap. But then we stop one centimeter before the end. And this aligns with all the other pieces and then we have an extra seam allowance. Take the other long side piece A and pin it to the other divider and the center side panel B. As we go along you can see what I mean. <laughs> Make sure to overlap all the side panels 1 cm or 0.4 inches at the bottom. Like I show here. So if you keep watching it will all make a little bit more sense in a minute. It's so many different pieces to assemble this <laughs> in a basket. You could also just um, make the basket really easy by just using the outer sides and bottom make a really really simple basket without any dividers. So this is what we're doing now. We're pinning the next side piece and sew it to the other divider and the middle side piece to assemble the basket. And we are stopping one centimeter before the end again, which aligns with the seam that we sewed before, the bottom seam. And this is what it should, should look like right now. Now pin the same long side A to the other side of the second divider and also pin the second center side panel B to it with the divider wedged in between the two. This sounds very complicated but I hope the images here are making it a bit more clear. Now we're sewing along here. Sew the three pieces together. So it's always two side panels and one divider that are going to be sewn together. And finally pin and sew the first long side panel A and the first divider to the second center side panel. And as always we are leaving one centimeter on both bottom edges here so we can later on sew everything together. Now we're going to sew this last seam here. So this is what it looks like now. We've finished sewing all the sides here to the dividers and now we're going to pin the 
bottom to the sides. Turn the inner basket upside down and pin the bottom to the sides. This is all a little bit fiddly maybe, but it can be done. <laughs> That's what it looks like now. Let's sew all the way around and we're going to leave a turning hole on one end. Sew along the outer edge, leaving a 4 inch turning hole on one end. You can leave the turning hole anywhere you like really. And I chose to do it on one side today. You could also sew all the way around and later on put the inner basket into the outer basket and finish the top edge with a bias tape. Actually I might do it that way next time. I think it might be a little bit easier and less fiddly because you don't have to do the whole turning hole thing and turning things inside out. On the other hand I really like using the turning hole because then everything is really neat at the top but a bias tape finish can look really really lovely as well. And there is our turning hole. We just sew it all the way around except for the turning hole. When you want to get off the darkest ground, the gravity pulls you straight down. Pin right sides facing and sew the side seams of the outer basket sides. Okay, that sounded really complicated. So basically you put those side <laughs> panels right sides together and pin them and then you sew along both side seams. I really like the new music, do you? I just found it on YouTube and it's all free. I can use it for the videos. Really liking it. Pin and sew the outer sides to the outer bottom piece. Now I'm just folding it in the middle so I know where to pin it to. So I pin the center to the center seam here so everything is fairly symmetrical and fits and I'm doing the same thing on the other side as well And there we go, all finished, now we can sew it. All the way around. Turn the outer basket right side out and pin it right sides facing to the inner basket. So 
So here we have our outer basket piece. And now I'm folding the inner basket again to find the center here, the middle. So I can match it up with the center seam here of the outer basket. And I'm going to pin it or clip it with my new sewing clips here. <laughs> And of course I do it the same way on the other side as well. So all the way around the top edge. Turn the basket right sides out through the turning hole. I'm speeding this up a little bit because that took me quite some time. I hope it'll be a bit easier for you. <laughs> but it's worth it, I promise. Close the turning hole by hand. I'm doing this with a ladder stitch. So I'm picking up some fabric on one side and on the other and pulling it together. Then I pinned the top edge and I'm top stitching. You can also iron the basket here at this point so you get a really neat top edge. And I'm just top stitching. And my inner basket was actually a bit larger so that's how I could pull it up a little bit and have this nice little finish here at the top edge with the inner fabric showing on the outside. Maybe it works out that way for you as well. And then we're done! Here's our pretty basket with the dividers. I already put some of my sewing things in here and I especially made the measurements so that they would fit inside the fabric basket that you can also download for free, the pattern of the fabric basket. Let's see if it fits inside the fabric basket that I sewed last month. There you go, it fits perfectly. I just wanted some dividers inside the fabric basket because otherwise it's just too large and you can probably lose your stuff in there and you can't find it. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope I see you in the next video again. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked the video and it was useful to you. Please give it a like if you like, subscribe for more videos, leave a comment with feedback and video requests and if you like head on over to Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. I'd love to connect with you over there. See you next time. Bye!